What's up guys, this is Keith with L1 Automotive Diagnostics and Programming. And in today's video, we're gonna do a short little demonstration. I just kind of documented and filmed uh, while I was doing a lane departure watch camera calibration on a 2019 F-150, maybe it was an 18. Either way, this vehicle is a dynamic calibration, not a static, so it requires no targets, just a scan tool function and driving under certain environmental conditions. Also, stick around till the end, and I've got some videos, I've got some free training content I want to give you guys, especially while everyone's kind of stuck at home right now. So if you stick till the end, I'll have a link for that, and uh, we'll see you there, guys. All right, guys, we're in a 2018 F-150 uh, Platinum package, and the uh, customer concern is that the windshield was replaced here at a collision center. So we're actually gonna calibrate the lane departure watch system uh, upon their request because they read service information and realized this needed to be calibrated after a windshield replacement. So if you take a look here, you can see the tape still on the windshield. At my request, I always have them leave uh, the trim panel off so I can ensure the camera is installed correctly. We're actually using uh, FJDS here, uh, which is the JBox application, but because this is a 2018, as you can see, we have uh, nearly full IDS capability for this vehicle. So on our body drop down, we're gonna go to lane departure camera watch system alignment, and we're going to do uh, this procedure. So this procedure can be followed when the camera placement, windshield replacement, change in tire size, suspension work, or alignment, or when directed by service procedure. For naysayers out there, OE service information and scan tool says, we have to do this. So. We're going to do it. Um, as you can see up on the screen, uh, we have already done a pre-scan, and this uh, vehicle did have a couple codes for the TCU, uh, but as you can see there, they cleared, and there's nothing left on this scan. Uh, so now we're going to actually perform this lane departure watch system. So this car, car currently has no DTCs, but it does need the camera calibrated per service information. So yes, you can have a clear scan and have a vehicle not repaired correctly. Um, there you go. We see it. I see it every day. It's something that Whenever something is done, we need to do certain procedures. So yes, if you take your 2018 F-150 in for um, a tire replacement and they say, hey, your tires are wearing weird, we need to do an alignment, and then you change the tires and then you do an alignment, yes, you need to have the lane departure watch system calibrated. Um, I'm sorry, make all the arguments you want, but that's what the OE says. So in order to protect ourselves and to repair these vehicles correctly, we need to follow what the OE say to do. So that's what we're doing. Uh, there's all kinds of other stuff, stipulations on here. There's all kinds of good checklists and stuff you need to do first. Uh, something to keep in mind is set yourself up a process. Follow the service information. There's lots of, I'm not going to post the service information. Uh, you need to ha access that and read it carefully, but there's lots of stuff like checking tire pressures, fuel levels, all kinds of things that need to be done. Uh, so we did that. I've spent the last, let's see, the stopwatch on my van says that I have 27 minutes left on my one hour. So I've been here 33 minutes just doing pre-post, investigating the collision repair, and setting the vehicle up. So it's spent 32 minutes, and I haven't actually even started the calibration yet. So just to give you an idea how much time you could spend, this one's taken longer. I needed to wait for some information from them to make sure that everything was done correctly. Um, so that's where we're at, and now we're going to go for a test drive. All right, so we actually pulled over on the side of the highway because I dropped the phone. Uh, I was worried about the road, not worried about the phone. So... We're going to drive its visible lane markers, drive steady manner over 40 miles per hour, avoid crossing lanes, excessive steering angle changes, or sudden changes to the, the speed. Do not key off till the calibration is complete. So I'm going to get up on the highway and then press select. So I've got this laptop in what I feel is a safe manager, manner. I'm not going to really be able to let you monitor that. I'm going to just set this and drive, and then we'll kind of go from there. You guys can see that the loading bar is loading in green, so we're driving about 50 miles per hour with uh, what I think is clearly marked lanes, clearly marked lines in front of me. We did not set the cruise control. As you can see, it's loading pretty quickly, so. Hopefully we get a solid calibration through this windshield with no issues. Again, we're driving about 60 miles per hour. I'm keeping my eyes on the road, not really worried about the camera at this time. Coming up on a little curve, which may very likely pause our progress, but we have a good solid line on the right and good dotted lines on the front. Driving at approximately 
roughly 65 miles an hour, which is about four miles, five miles an hour under the speed limit. Okay, so we lost our far right hand solid lines. All right, now we've got them back. Driving at a slight curve. We're gonna straighten the wheels back out here in a second. Looks like our progress is pretty good, percentage-wise. So wait, wait guys, before we go any farther in the video, I promised you some free training. So if you go to the website, l1training.com, you'll see that there's a uh, little free training tab up here at the top. Go ahead and click that. Now you're gonna have to create a free account. You just put in a, an email address and create an account. I do this like so lock out all the bots and the people that are downloading content. Uh, I found out the hard way I had to do that. So currently we have a ton of uh, free walkthroughs for doing J2534 programming, a ton of videos on how to do different programming events. And then I've been releasing a couple videos a week. Uh, I'm going to do this diagnostic process class first. So again, just l1training.com, click the free training tab. There'll be a little thing that pops up to prompt you to register for a free membership. Cost nothing. You got to put any credit card in, nothing. Just put an email address in, create an account. Click the little I'm not a robot thing at the bottom, and then you'll have access to the free training, as well as the waveform library for all of my PicoScope uh, known good captures. There's hundreds of them in there. Uh, share this library with Justin Miller. So back to the video, guys. That is complete. So we're actually going to set this back here. We're going to press the OK. It says procedure completed. Confirms the front camera function service indicator and pop-up message has cleared, which it has. During the entire test drive, there was a service, there was a camera malfunction error on the dash. Confirm the front camera and or lane keep systems are functioning properly. It's recommended you carry out a self-test. So, what I'm going to do is turn around and go back basically the way that I came. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and pull over here for a second. We're going to do a self test and then uh, do our confirmation test drive, confirming that all the lane keep warning and or assist, along with the cruise control, anything else on this system works correctly. So, see you guys in a second. All right, so the customer's preference they have set on this vehicle is under alert instead of alert or aid or alert and aid or just aid or just alert. So they have it set on alert. So I set it to alert and aid to confirm that this actually worked. That's where we're at now. Okay, I just set it to alert and aid. And we're going to confirm that this lane departure assist system does function properly. You can see that down there at the bottom, we have no cruise control set, but it is looking for lines on the road, which this road currently does not have. We get turned here and then we we'll, should have some more clear marked roads. So we'll go ahead and set the cruise control. And as you can see, it sees taillights in front of it. That little vehicle emblem just came up and it's auto slowing down. I'm not doing that. We're slowing almost all the way to a stop because the car in front of us. And we're speeding back up because the car is gone. So I got a few more minutes to test drive of this car to confirm the rest of the system works correctly and then we'll pack it up. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Like I said, if you missed the free training, how to get to the free training is because you didn't watch the video and I caught you. <laughs> Anyways, go back, find the free training thing if you didn't watch it. If you did find it, cool, please visit there. And don't forget, um, there is paid training on there as well. I know it's hard times right now, so if you like the free training and you get into a better financial position, please... Go over to the paid content. It's only 20 bucks a month, and you get access to hundreds of hours of content on the website there. Um, and I'm constantly adding new training, a couple hours every month. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks again, and have uh, be safe. Everyone be safe. You right there. And you.
And then that guy, that dude needs to stay safe right there. 